All right, in this video, we're taking a look at a very small, you can see it's very compact, gimbal. It's also a selfie stick. It's also a tripod. First, a couple of detailed images, and then we'll take a closer look and play around with this a little. Right, so we're looking at this little gimbal. As you can see, it's very, very compact. It's about six, a little over six and a half, about six and a half inches, up to around uh, 23 inches. And it opens up like this. You do have these rubber feet on the bottom. And if you extend this out, you have this aluminum bar. So if you're using it as a selfie stick, it's very sturdy and strong. And then if you need to use it for a tripod, you can actually open it up and you can have it sitting just like that as a tripod. And then, of course, you have the gimbal aspect as well. So before we get into that, let me show you what's included really quickly. So you have this little user guide. This little Type-C USB charging cable. This little bag to store and carry it in, which just has a little bit of a logo on the bottom. And that's the box that it comes in. So, anyway. Now, one of the cool aspects, as opposed to the coin cell operated batteries that a lot of the Bluetooth remotes use, this is a rechargeable unit. And instead of sliding in and out, it's just magnetic which is very, very convenient. I love magnets, so that's really cool. All right, so on this little remote button, you have your shutter button, you have your power button, and you have your mode button. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that in place there. The gimbal itself, the charging port is right there. The charging for this is on the back right there. Obviously this is much smaller, it's gonna charge faster than this. I just charge them overnight so it's ready to go if I need it. Um, but your charging port is right here. There is a little sticker right there, which is actually convenient in case you're not aware of operation or someone else is using this. And it talks about the uh, lock and unlock. So if you turn that, it locks and unlocks. So it locks into place. So it's not going anywhere or like that. And then it, it does. So we'll leave it locked for the moment. You got your power right there. So you just press and hold that to turn that on. And this can be used in uh, vertical or horizontal and it does have something called inception mode so it's sort of a spin so we'll take a look at that let me get my phone so I have a Galaxy Note 9 one it's kind of a heavy phone and two it's a fairly big phone with the case and everything and not all holders are capable of holding it this one seems to manage it without any issue so that's really good so let me get this opened up all right we've got our spring loaded arms it's rubber shouldn't damage or scratch or anything so don't have to worry too much about that and I believe it supports I think it's I wrote it down on here 7.2 inch yeah 7.2 inch so good support as far as the actual phone goes um, I'm go ahead and place this in the gimbal and I'm gonna press and hold the power Alright, so I got the remote on, and you can see right now, it just flops wherever it wants to. But if I push and hold the power here, now we've got that gimbal functionality operating. So it's very smooth. And if I hit the mode button, it becomes a horizontal. 
and then if I press and hold, you can see the inception mode. So that's kind of cool. All right, so now, uh, charging time, again, I just leave it overnight. Five to six hours is the estimated use. I guess it depends on uh, exactly how heavy your phone is, if that kind of factors in. So now I'm going to switch. I'm going to turn the phone on and just use the selfie and show you the vertical, horizontal, and the inception mode real quickly. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you want to find out more about this, there'll be a link below the video. You can check out further details. But otherwise, let's just check out a quick example of what this looks like when it's being used so you can know more what to expect. Okay? Thanks for watching. All right. So this is the gimbal. I'm using it in a vertical orientation. And I'm moving it quite a bit. All right, now if I switch to horizontal or landscape mode, and if I do the inception, All right, now I'm going to turn off the gimbal functionality and show you what it looks like if I didn't have the gimbal active. All right, so now my phone's already crooked, but uh, now the gimbal's not active. So when I move this, it doesn't really do a very good job, and the phone just wants to rock all over the place. So you don't have the smoothness. It also doesn't seem to be staying in frame as well. So it actually works quite well. And because it's so compact, it's very easy to have it with you at any time. Okay, so that's a quick demonstration. Again, if you want to find out more, check out the link below the video. Thanks for watching.